Hey, sweetie pies. Welcome back to Building Faith Brick by Brick, where we are listening to a Bible story from the Spark Story Bible, and then we are taking our Legos, and we are creating something based on the story that we hear. So I have a news story for you today, but before I jump in with that news story, I have a question for you. I am wondering, have you ever done something because everyone else was doing it? Or have you ever not done something even though everyone else in the crowd was doing it? Because that is sort of the challenge our main character faces today. Our main character is Queen Esther, and Miss Jen loves Queen Esther. There is so much about Queen Esther that I love, and I love this story, and I'm so excited to share it with you today, but I want you to be thinking about that question. Have you ever done something because everyone else was doing it, or have you ever not done something even though everyone else was doing it? Because that's really hard. It doesn't matter how young you are or how old you are. It's still really, really hard to go against the crowd. And I have a story to share with you. I was in a situation this weekend at, um, I did some service. I did a service project with my daughter, Emily. And at the service project, while we were there, it was a small group of people but many were not wearing their masks. And the lady in charge, she came up to me, because Emily and I, we were wearing our masks, and she said, you know, you don't have to wear those if you don't want to. Everybody here is fine. You don't need to wear those. And for a split second in my brain, I thought, oh, it would be nice to not have to wear this mask, and nobody else is wearing it, so maybe I should take mine off too. And something inside my mind, something inside my heart, thinking the Holy Spirit, said, you know what, Miss Jen? You better keep that mask on. Emily, you better keep your mask on too. And so we did, right? And there was a split second that I thought, oh, maybe I should just do what everybody else is doing, right? Sometimes it's hard. It's hard to be different. It's hard to do something different. But I think that God gives you the Holy Spirit to say, mm, you may want to think about that, right? You may want to think about that first. So let's get started with our story for today. Our story is called Queen Esther. And again, like I've already said, it is one of my favorites. And it's from the Spark Story Bible. And I'm going to scoot this way so we can scoot the book this way and we'll be great. Okay. Queen Esther. Once there was a young girl named Esther. Her cousin Mordecai worked for the king. When Esther's parents died, she went to live with her cousin in the palace. Esther learned new things, wore dazzling clothes, and grew into a beautiful young woman. When the king saw Esther, he said, Oh, I am so happy. I want you to wear this crown and be my queen. Now, Esther and Mordecai, they were Jewish. And many people did not like Mordecai or the Jewish people. But the king was a wise man, and he always listened to what Mordecai and Esther had to say. One of the men who did not like Mordecai was a very proud man named Haman. One day, the king said, I am giving Haman a special job. And because he is so important, everyone should kneel and bow down to him. This made Haman happy because he thought a lot of himself. But Mordecai knew that God was the only one he should bow down to. 
when Haman saw that Mordecai wouldn't bow down to him, he was so mad. And when he learned that Mordecai was a Jew, was a Jewish person, he was even madder. This isn't right, Haman said. I am going to punish Mordecai and all of the Jewish people. Haman saw that the king loved Esther and that he listened to Mordecai. And this also made him angry. Haman knew that they were Jewish. So he planned for all of the Jewish people to be killed. But Esther was smarter than Haman. I have found out something important, Esther told the king while they were eating at a banquet. She told him of Haman's plans to kill all of the Jewish people. When Esther told the king that Mordecai was her cousin and that they were both Jewish, the king wasn't mad at her because the king loved Esther so much that he gave Mordecai the job that Haman had before. Here is my ring for you to wear, the king said to Mordecai. Write a message to all of the Jewish people in my name and seal the letter with my ring. The letters that Mordecai wrote went to people all across the land and they celebrated with music and feasting and dancing. Hooray for Queen Esther, the people cheered. Because the king loves her, we are saved. Now it may not sound, after hearing this story, it may not sound like Queen Esther did anything kind of all that big of a deal. But the truth is, at that time, if you were the king, and anyone, even the woman that you loved, if anyone questioned your laws or your rules, you could be in big trouble. And that's exactly what Esther did. She questioned the king and she said, you know what? I don't know, this Haman guy, he wants to hurt people. He wants to hurt me. He wants to hurt my cousin Mordecai. Is that really what you want, king? So Esther went against the crowd. She went against what everyone else was doing. Mordecai went against the crowd. Right? All of these people, they were bowing down to Haman. And Mordecai was, uh-uh, no way. I only bow down to God. Right? So sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's really, really hard. And yet sometimes God calls us to do those really, really hard things. So I wonder, I have some wondering questions for you. I wonder, I wonder what it's like to be a king. I wonder what it's like to be a queen, right? Seems like it might be kind of cool, but I don't know. The king had to make some difficult decisions, right? Queen Esther had to make some difficult decisions. I don't know if it's always so easy to be a king or a queen, but I wonder. I wonder what it is like to do whatever you want. It seemed like Haman for a little while got to do whatever he wanted, right? Make whatever rules he wanted. Even seems like the king and queen, really, they get to make whatever rules they want. I wonder what that's like to just be able to do whatever you want all the time. I wonder if you would like that. Or I wonder if after a while, maybe that wouldn't be so exciting. I wonder if you have ever refused to go along with the crowd because you thought they were doing something wrong. That kind of brings us back to our initial question, doesn't it? I 
wonder what you will build today with your Legos. Maybe you could build, you could always build the people, right? We had Haman, we had Mordecai, we had the king, we had Queen Esther. Queen Esther talked to the king when, she, when they were at this banquet, at this fancy dinner. Could you build like a fancy dinner scene? Maybe you could even build Haman with like other people kind of bowing down to him. I wonder what you will build with your Legos. Will you show me? Will you take a picture and text it to me or Marco Polo it to me or email it to me? Because I would love to see it as always. Will you pray with me? Dear God, give us wisdom and strength to do the right thing in this world. Give us bravery to act with courage to help others. Make us people who are willing to do what is right. Amen. I love you all. High fives, fist bumps. Have a great week. Hope you enjoyed the story, and I can't wait to see what you're going to build. All right, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Bye.